Hi, I'm Dr. Wendy Seabrook from Learning from Nature. There's lots of different things that we can do to drought-proof our gardens and farms. We can put down lots of mulch, we can landscape, put special landscaping features in. In farms we can use key line design and we can put in swales. But the easiest and cheapest and probably the first thing that we should do is look at ways to increase the amount of water that is actually infiltrating our soils when it rains and how much water our soils can store. So I'd like to show you a really simple test that you can do on your, on your property, on your land to look at how much water, how much of the rainwater is actually going into your soil and how much is actually washing off. All you need is a bit of PVC piping or a bit of metal tubing, whatever you can scrounge. I put a little bit of a sharp edge on here just so that I can twist it into the ground better because what you want to do is you want to, we're going to pour water down it and we don't want it to sort of come out of the sides. So I'm going to twist it down like that. You can give me a hand, Pepper. <laughs> so you just pour the water in like here. I've got a measurement gauge on the side, but we'll just put it to the, the top approximately. And let's just have a look at how long it takes for the water to um, drain out. And um, as you can see, it's not going down very quickly. So what does that tell us? It tells us that most of this water, if this was rainwater, most of it is just washing off the soil and not actually entering our soil. So we can put out rain gauges and we can say, oh my God, we got so many millimeters of rain um, last night. But what is really important is how much is entering our soil. For a comparison, now what we're going to do is have a look at a very different area. This is in my orchard where I've taken out the grasses and replaced them with a living mulch. And let's have a look at how, how fast or slow the water drains out in this situation. Look at, look at the difference. You know, it's not, it's not brilliant, but look at the, how, how much quicker the water is, is um, draining out from the, um, the tube in this situation. Why the difference? Well, obviously in the camping area, there'll be, there's vehicle traffic and that's compacting the soil. But also, as you saw, there's hardly any plants growing on there. You know, there's a thin cover of cooch grass. And so very little plant material contributing organic matter and very little organic matter or mulch on the soil. So when it drains, the water quickly runs off the soil. But also it means there's not much to feed the soil animals. Whereas here in the orchard, we've got lots of living mulch plants. We've got obviously the fruit trees and we've got ecological support plants and shrubs all adding lots of organic matter. So that's slowing the runoff of water, that, of rainwater that lands on the soil, but also more importantly, it's adding lots of organic matter to feed our soil animals. And why it's important to feed our soil organisms is because they're the experts at creating good soil structure. After all, they've had three billion years to all the training that they need to do the job. And they create all this poor space and nice aggregate structure that enables the water to easily drain into the soil. We also talked about the importance of soil um, being able to store more water as well. And that's where organic matter comes in again. Because organic matter stores four times the amount of water than clay does. It acts like a sponge. So when we get that rainwater infiltrating our soil, then what happens too is that our soils are storing more water.